this is literally how I woke up. <laughs> Look at his little neck rolls. Oh no, I've got it stuck in my hair. <laughs> So long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh, yeah, but somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed. Mm -mm. Baby, if we talk for a minute, then maybe Taking the I woke up like this to a whole nother level. I've woken up with a side bun. So yeah, hello and thank you for clicking on this video. I am doing a vlog today, if you didn't know by the title. So we're keeping it realistic. This is literally how I woke up. I've not done anything, as you can tell, otherwise I wouldn't have. A side bun in, apologies for the banging outside. Um, it is, we're having some work done in the garden. Okay, so today is a Saturday, which means that I get to have a work-free day and I would normally get a lie-in. However, I've been up since 8 a.m. because, like I said, there's work going on um, at our house and the neighbours. So that what didn't happen, um, which is fine because I do always feel better when I'm up early. However, I didn't go to sleep until very late. So I'm a little bit tired. So today I thought I would just vlog and bring you with me on my Saturday. Um, so today I'm going to get dressed soon and go for a walk so that I'm not late as always to meet my friend. And then when I get back, I am going to get ready properly because I'm just going to shove my hair up back on a normal bun on top of my head. <laughs> Not like this. Maybe like that. Um, and then I've got some things to unbox with you. Um, I also, what else was I thinking before? Oh yeah, so I need some advice as well on some like home stuff, organisation stuff. So I'm going to show you that later as well and let you know what I've got in mind. Um, there was something else unboxing walk organization stuff we'll just see how we get on it's a vlog basically it's my day so let's get on with it i'm ready to go i've literally just put on a t-shirt and some plain black leggings and then my teddy coat just because i find that i always get really hot if i wear jumpers or anything like that when i'm on a walk and then i'm just going to show some trainers on my feet but yeah i'm ready to go We'd be getting somewhere oh, oh. I just want to love you a little To see where this is going I really need to know, babe Can we just open up? Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do I might need some help If you let me on my walk but this one fancied a little out in so we're back out getting those steps in I'm trying to get as many steps in as i can today because well i think i'm gonna have a takeaway tonight so obviously the more steps i can get in the more calories i can burn so i'm hoping to get to 10k by the time we get back off this walk which i think should be easy to do I love Winston's pieces, but he is so annoying when he goes for walks because he literally will go to the toilet like five times on a very short walk. So he basically just spends the whole time picking shit up. So I love him, but he's a bit annoying and we should just do one. Also, Winston wears t-shirts now because he has a skin condition and it helps with his skin and to stop him scratching which basically aggravates his condition. So he always has either his red or a little blue t-shirt on. I think he looks so cute. Oh, so I'm back from a walk and I've just decided to have a cup of tea and watch an episode of Friends before I do my makeup and just do my hair and show you some of the stuff I've got to unbox. This is 
probably one of my favourite ones where Ross and Monica do the little routine. They've just done it. It's really annoying that it's gone past it. But, yeah, I'm just having a cup of tea. Oh, that's really zoomed in. <laughs> Hold on. I am just having a cup of tea in a Christmas mug. I didn't realise this is a Christmas mug. I probably need to put it away. But, um, yeah, I'm just having a little bit of a relax. I feel like I don't need to jump around and do stuff all day. I've just had a really productive morning, so... I'm relaxing for half an hour. So I didn't quite get to 10,000 steps on that walk. I'm on 8,300. Um, I honestly thought it would be more than that. It felt like I was walking longer than 2,000 steps. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I know I'll reach it 10 by the time I come to have my takeaway later on. Because I've got some stuff to do. So, yeah. But it's fine. And I think it's really important to remember when you're planning a day or you've got stuff on to do that... You plan time to relax as well because I am either like one way or another like I'll either not do anything all day or I will think I need to do everything all the time and then when I think about sitting down I'm like oh but I've got so much more to do whereas I shouldn't be thinking like that. What is wrong? You've been walked, you've been fed, what more could you possibly want? I even gave you two treats. What's up? I also just posted a picture of me and Winston on my Instagram so go ahead. And look at that on there, it's super, super cute. Winst! Look at his head. Winst! <laughs> look at his little neck rolls. What do you need now? I'm not putting the heating on. It's too nice today, sorry. And mum will go mad. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Is it just me who imagines conversations with a dog? Nope, it's not just me. I'm trying to do my hair. Can we? Can I get a bit of space, please? So I'm just sat waiting for my curlers, oh, just bang my lamp with them. I'm waiting for my curlers to um, heat up so that I can do my hair. I have a tripod now, which makes everything so much easier. I don't have to sit and hold the camera the whole time. So I actually wanted advice on something because um, I've been going back and forth with ideas for ages. A couple of ideas, so I'll run them by you. But I always think that with these things, it's good to... Just ask opinions and see if anyone's got any suggestions, basically. So, to the side of me here is my skincare cupboard. So, I used to have this pretty organised, but now, what every time I look at it, I feel like it obviously could be way more organised. Um, and also, I think there's a way I can use the space better. So, I'll show you what it looks like now. I'm not even going to move anything. It's very disorganised. Everything looks a bit messy. So, let's have a look. Okay, so this is my skincare cupboard. So this is actually my bedside table. Um, you can see I've got some stuff on here and then it's in here. I knew I wanted a cupboard and not a drawer bedside table because I have a big set of drawers anyway. So I use this for skincare that I don't keep in my fridge. Um, so I've just got things like hand cream. I've got my fake tanning water. Actually, I don't know if I've told you about this or not on Instagram or at all. Um, but this is the Palm Bay Self Tanning Water and this is in shade medium. This is from Tesco and was literally £4 and is the best face tanner that I have ever used. Um, it's literally just a water and you just spray it on like a facial mist and it covers everywhere. And then I just do it to my neck. My face is whiter than my body. So this really, really helps. Like it's four pound and I swear by it. So definitely pick this up next time you're in Tesco doing your shop because it is well worth it. They had a bunch of Palm Bay products. I don't know what the other ones are like, but this is amazing. Just wanted to mention that because it's new. So yeah, I just have my skincare in here, but basically I have this little stand thing that you might recognize from Ikea. And I've, at first, I think I did try and put it across the back, but from memory, it either didn't fit or it made no sense because I would have stuff under it and on. But then if I put things in front, I couldn't reach back and grab the things at the back. So I just need a system to organise this better. Um, so I just keep like moisturisers, some facial mist, makeup remover. Got a couple of hair bits in there, some face masks. And it just needs organising better. Um, I just feel like it can be used in a bit more of a functional way so i mean the only other thing that i'm gonna have a look through to see if i've got any ideas is this book so i got this for christmas this is the home edit life book and this helps you organize things but i would say that it's really useful for obviously 
like ideas on how to section things and the clear bins and stuff like that but i just don't think for this space there's going to be anything there though i haven't probably spent enough time looking um which is why i'm asking your opinion so the one idea i did have and i'll see if i can put a picture on the screen of the thing that I'm talking about in case you don't know but I saw on a girl's TikTok that she had an acrylic perfume stand and basically it was just a clear stand and it has shelves that go up in like a stepped motion so I was thinking that would probably help me use this utilize this space a lot better because I would have obviously things on the first shelf the second shelf and the third at the back and then I can still have stuff in front but it means when I'm reaching for stuff I don't have to reach over because they'll be higher Hope that makes sense and obviously i will put a picture on screen so if you think that'll look good let me know but if you've got any ideas then also let me know i did see on on um shein i'll post a picture again they have absolutely thousands of home stuff i never even knew i'll put a picture on it's this gold um shelf and the shelf itself will actually fit in here because i think it was like 28 centimeters and it'll come up to about here and that's sort of the end of the bar but my only concern is that some of the taller products like these ones are not going to be able to go anywhere because they won't fit under or on top and i'll end up again with products at the front so please let me know i need your help help a girl out so i'm just gonna do my hair um i washed my hair last night and i let it dry pretty much fully and then just really quickly went over it with the hair dryer um to smooth it out a little bit because it gets quite frizzy if i don't use the hair dryer a little bit so as always just splitting my hair into two brushing any knots out and i'm gonna curl i have spoken about this wand a few times on my channel it's from amazon it was really really inexpensive this one comes with about four or five different heads but i generally speaking just use this one and um, so i'm just curling the ends and then holding it up to help set in place and then i'll just let it drop um it just leaves really nice curls and they actually last as well so i want to do this you see me do this all the times and i'll come back when i'm done so i finished my hair now and this is what it looks like um i've realized recently that when i used to curl my hair there'd be something that i just wasn't sure about and i think what it was is i used to bring my curls too high up my head so it would be really curly on this bit um but now I've realised that if I just curl the ends of it and then brush them out a little bit, which is what I've done here, that I get this really nice. This curled, but a little bit more natural and big and bouncy. So, yeah, I love it. I am going to do my makeup and then I'll come back because we, this vlog will be a million, million minutes long if I do my makeup in it as well. Okay, so I finished my makeup and I just went for something really simple. Kind of overdid it a little bit on the blush, but I got a new one and i didn't really know how much to use and i overused it which is typical when it comes to blush so i also got changed i also got changed into just a black loungewear outfit from tesco um honestly feels really good such good quality and the only thing is i have to have it quite high up but that is one of the downsides of being five foot three that everything's long um and it's kind of a bit too big i wish it had sized down a little bit but it's fine so i'm nice and comfy now the lighting is playing me a little bit now it's getting later so yeah it's just not working very well um but i've got a couple of things to unbox with you so thought i would do that so i've got two things which were very kindly gifted and one item that i've ordered myself which i'll show you as well so i want to start off with this one because i've already opened this one so this is a box, a subscription box from Face Mask Club. So they actually run a subscription service for face masks. So I got this. I mean, it's the cutest packaging ever as well, by the way. Um, and I got a bunch of face masks in. You will see me actually talking a lot more in depth about this particular box in a video that's coming on Wednesday. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But basically, I'll just quickly show you the ones I got. I also got some little love hearts, really cute. And they put like some little heart confetti in there. So 
Just trying to make sure that I don't get that everywhere. Okay, so it just got a bunch of face masks in here. So there was one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got seven face masks. I think each month it's five to seven face masks that you get. And I'll pop a link to this down in the description box. And I also have a discount code, which I'll put on screen now, which will get you 10% off your first box, which is really, really exciting. So yeah, and I got a bunch of these. So I'll talk about them a little bit more in depth in Wednesday's video but I just wanted to mention them in here whilst I was doing an unboxing. The mask is one of them things that like unless you're doing an order and you add them to your basket you forget to pick them up and I think having them delivered to your door every month is obviously basically saves you the trouble and you get five to seven so you get at least one a week but if not two, nearly two per week. Um, so yeah I'll let you know how these are. The hyaluronic acid one that I used in Wednesday's video was incredible so yeah. I'll let you know a little bit more information about that on Wednesday. Next one is also gifted, um, and this is very kindly gifted by FFS Beauty. I've actually tried this brand before. You will have seen it in a video last year. I actually purchased one of their razors, and yeah, so I actually can already vouch for this brand without even having to open it, which I'm really, really pleased about. So... Oh, so I didn't, you get a little note with them that says, oh, I'll try to pick it up. So this little note says, lovingly packed by Deb. Oh, how cute. You get a little note to say who's packed it. And this is what the box looks like. So we're opening this for the first time. But like I said, I can 100% vouch for these products because I've used them before and it's probably the best, well, no, it is the best razor that I've ever used. But this one, if you order from their website, actually comes with something a little bit more special as well so you just have this inside so it comes with a 12 month warranty it comes with a 12 month warranty and it says once registered you'll also receive £4.50 voucher credit for your next order for your next order plus a surprise gift so I'll keep that to one side because they also do fake tan as well as the products that are in here which is obviously really exciting um so first of all packaging obviously incredible and in here the special bit that I wanted to show you was hold on the bit that I'm excited for so I have my name engraved onto this razor like oh, just look at that let me see if I can get it really close up is it going to focus can you see that there Demi Burns so let me just do the little youtube things you can see but yeah it says demi burns there these are such good quality like they feel really good quality the color is obviously amazing you also get with this a little plastic cap to pop your razor in to keep it nice and secure and safe and there's also a little bag for obviously <sighs> noisy cars no there's also a little bag that comes with it so that you can take it traveling with you you also get a little clip for the wall i've also got four blades as well four replacement blades and the really good thing about these is these blades can actually be sent back to them for recycling they are like a really conscious company um environmentally conscious company which also is another really big benefit as well which i know a lot of people obviously care about because they care about our planet so that's good this product i haven't tried before so this is their shaving cream so it says with manuka honey with rich manuka honey shea butter and coconut oil so that's pretty much everything you need for nice moisturized soft skin isn't it so i'm really excited to use this like i said i have had one of their razors before which was this handle actually and but it didn't have my name on and I just feel like that is just extra, isn't it? It's just bougie as anything. Um, so I'm going to pop this back away. So you will actually see a lot more about this razor in a video that will be coming next Sunday. I'm really excited to film that one actually. I've got some really great ideas for how I want it to look. So if you want to see the razor in action and get a little bit more detail about them as a company, so they obviously subscribe. But it will be in next Sunday's video. So, yeah, you can have a look at that. But I just wanted to unbox them because I always love watching people unbox things. And then last but not least is something that I actually purchased for a video that will also be coming in the next couple of weeks. And that is this headband. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually going to be doing a bridal makeup tutorial. Obviously, with everything that's gone on. Basically, weddings have been non-existent. Um, but I just have never done a bridal tutorial on my on my YouTube. And I don't know why, because I obviously do a lot of brides makeup. So, yeah, I don't really know why I've never done it before. But I wanted to do, like, a modern 
bridal look so not necessarily your classic look and that's why I got this headband because I thought this and I have a white dress as well that I'm going to be wearing so I mean makeup and white dresses oh no I've got it stuck in my I also forgot to show you these two products that came. So these were supposed to be part of my Look Fantastic haul. If you've watched that, then you'll know what I am talking about. I had a couple of products that were a little bit late, so these were them. So this is a Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Fixing Spray with niacinamide and cucumber extract. Smells incredible. Only used it once, so I can't talk to the actual effects of it. But yeah, I really liked it. And also this Natio blush as well. So this is more of a peachy toned blush. I don't know if that's picking up on camera. I use this today. This is the one that was really pigmented and I used a little bit too much of. But yeah, they also arrived from Look Fantastic. Back for a little bit now and then I'm going to get something to eat later on. I don't know what I want. I'm really stuck between a couple of different meals. So we shall see. So I've just been editing this vlog and I realised that I didn't sign it off. Um, I basically had a takeaway for my tea. I was watching Vampire Diaries basically until I fell asleep. So yeah, um, sorry for not ending it sooner, but I just thought I would jump on and close this video off. Hope that you enjoyed watching this video um, and let me know if you like this kind of content. And I tried to make it a little bit more varied um, by including like the unboxings and going for a walk and stuff like that. So let me know if you like it and give it a thumbs up if you do. And obviously don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, but yeah, thank you very much for watching in. I hope to see you here again very soon. Bye. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name.